After watching Smallfoot, uh, uh, I decided to watch another movie that I was really, really interested in. And it, and it, what a, what a tone changer! I went from an animated film to a horror film, and a slasher one, to, um, uh, to be precise. It's been a while that I, I saw a slasher film. It, sometimes I feel that they come one or two come out every year, or sometimes none. Last year I had Happy Death Day, which was the closest thing I had with, uh, with, uh, with to a slasher film. But now the one that kind of took my interest is none other than Hellfest. Ever since er, ever since I, day one, I saw the trailer. I was hooked into it because it really looked uh, it really looked very interesting, uh, mostly on the setting where it is. Uh, to to give you a little bit of a short summary, uh, Hellfest typically is this. Uh, it's kind of like the usual slasher film. A group of friends they go to some some to some some place, and then some slasher slasher villain comes and tries to kill them. That's it. It's almost like every premise from from every slasher movie. But again, I am not a guy to to judge on rep, rep, um, who um on how can I say plots that are repetitive because again. It depends on the generation that you grow into, so I can't be picky on that. In this case, we got a group of friends who they go to this, the, to apparently this Halloween theme uh, horror, horror amusement park from what I can gather called Hellfest. Which, in my opinion, it, it's like what will happen if someone decides to throw a Halloween party on Universal Studios. But they, they have a little bit of hunt, hunt the rides almost everywhere. Uh, they have the costumes, people, uh, people in horrible and well scary scary costumes running around. But some but some psychopath this uh, uh, he he he, uh, he wants he stalks them stalks them and he tries to kill he tries to kill them and the problem is that he is dressed up like like some uh, he's he's dressed up like one of the employers of the uh I well I wouldn't say that he was dressed up like the employer but employers of the of the hell hellfest rides no it wasn't a ride it was a theme park but let's say that he blends in he blends in and it will be very hard to pinpoint that guy and that's it that's it's very easy to summarize what this movie is about. But now the big question is, how was the movie? Well, I'll say this. As a horror movie and as a guy who watched a lot of them, it's pretty decent. It's really, really decent in my opinion. But there are some things that I really, really like from this movie. But if you're not that you're the kind of guy who kind of uh, kind of feel tired of the same formula and doesn't doesn't want to watch any of these kind of movies and you're very very picky on the kind of movies that you're gonna watch, I don't think that this is the movie for you. In my case, I I, I just went uh, went uh, went along with the ride. It, it's just that it's and technically this movie is just it's just a haunted mansion ride without going to to an actual ride and all this stuff. The characters themselves are are pretty one-dimensional to be honest. Um I think that's technically the point of a slasher film. I mean, it's not exactly that you must not root for the characters because well, some of them eventually they're going to the chopping block. But what I like about that movie is that the characters may be one-dimensional, but they're not exactly douchey. Um, I mean, what kind of character do we have? We got, uh, we got the, our main character, who is usually kind of a little bit of the shy, bookwar uh, bookwarmish character. Uh, there is, there is her Afro-American best friend, who is a little bit more with a more energy. Uh, let's say that the, the bitchy one. So to be a little bit more accurate, 
bitchy but not unlikable. That's that's a good line that they don't cross. And of course, their respective boyfriends. A boyfriend that I swear that has no personality. The the girl, the boy, uh, the main character's boyfriend, and the la the Latino guy. In which I swear that I thought that this guy he wasn't wish upon, but I double check, he wasn't. So and so they get VIP passes to go to to this event called Hellfest, and while everything is fun, I mean they go to the hunt, they go to the to the haunted labyrinth, haunted ride. Uh, they, they they get their small drinks. They go to this uh, this carnival game, carnival games, and winning, trying to win plushies, all this and all of that. Unfortunately, they they are being stalked by this uh, this killer who we never see his face. Even in the even in the introduction introduction of the film, we never see this guy's face. The least that we have about uh, about him is that he's always he's always wearing a hood like this, and always wearing a mask in which if the mask is kind of similar to uh, the Michael Myers mask, but a little bit more dirty and, and, and more, more brownish in some, kind of, in some kind of way. And he's he just there, he's he stalk, stalking to whatever person he wants to kill or kill or something like that. And the problem is that the guy kind of, it kind of blends in with the crowd. He, he blends with the people who work on work on the park, and the whole movie it technically has that after his first killing to a random woman, that kill is witnessed by our main character, and and the guy he just decides to follow her. He targets her, and the whole movie is just it it is just almost. Uh, the characters going one one way to another. They go to the next ride. They not go to another one. And the, our poor character, she's she's just like, hey, I seen this guy. He's bothering me. He's he's even he even stole the pictures that I took with my boyfriend. Of course, that eventually uh, they we get the rule that whenever uh, whenever a character gets separated from the group, that they 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 get killed. Horribly, and yeah, the kills. Uh, not for the faint of heart. I mean, we got a guy who gets smashed with a ham, his head with a hammer, and one that he gets a needle stuck in the eye. That one made me cringe. I gotta be, I gotta be honest. But again, like I said, it's kind of far in between, so you gotta be a little bit patient. To reach out the juicy part, the juicier parts of the movie. Boy, I kind of sounded like a, like a sick, sick guy. If I could say which is uh, which are the biggest positives that this movie has, is that the first big positive is the killer himself. This guy, the killer, is technically what I could say that he's the best part of the movie. First of all, is that like I said, we never see his face, but that's not not the only mysterious thing about this guy. Everything about this guy is a mystery because during the whole movie, there's you can see that the guy has no motive. He has no motive to do what he's doing, and and the movie technically, even at the end, it never reveals what was his deal. The closest thing that we can think of is that probably he just was the biggest hardcore uh, Hellfest fan in the world, and he just decided that well, I just I just killed just for the lols. I just, uh, sorry, it, I just I just got the assassination nation on my on my mind, and that's why I said it. I said it. When, and again, it's it's such a mystery that it's it's. It's been kept into in the whole movie that makes it, in a way, interesting. It, it because usually in this kind of slasher movie, we sometimes we get the reveal that there is that that the killer 
has this identity. He comes from a background or something like that. And that so so let's say that this guy is kind of like the combination of Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. I'll, I'll, I say it's mostly Jason Voorhees because it has it it does it does has its own theme song, and I really really like it. It has the theme music that it plays, especially in especially noticeable in the in the climax, and that that's the biggest praise that I can get from the from the killer in the movie. And and the other second praise that I have with this movie is the is the art. Art, art settings that this movie has. I wish I could see uh, a haunted uh, haunted ha house or haunted uh, or let haunted park as elaborate as those. I mean, I went to haunted house before, but nothing uh, as much as that. I mean, uh, what? How can I say it? They, the props they. They kind of look at that you, something that you could buy it on a thrift store or something like that, but somehow they managed to tweak it to look to look very busy and very interesting. I mean, I never seen a haunted house, house with so much stuff. Some of them are really good. I admire that, and and people doing all these uh, all these cosplay with those costumes are. Are admirable. I, I, I kind of wish that this movie could have been selected for best costume designs in in the Oscar, or best. How can I say? Are are the best uh, art art decoration or best backgrounds? Because I kind of admire it. It's not. It 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 doesn't feel a uh, digital. That's. Uh, that's what most most A-list movies that have have right now. This one they look all practical. I and this is what I really really love about this movie. And now I'm gonna go a little bit with the negative, but the negative I will say that if I was a little bit uh, I, I, of a guy looking for a great scare, you're not gonna get it because this movie has. Uh, the the best it could do is jump scares. There, most of them are weak jump scares, but it's somehow this movie c came up with an excuse because the the most of the jump scares that this movie has is mostly about about people in costume doing their job on the haunted on this haunted houses. I mean, if you go to a haunted house. It's obvious that you're gonna find someone who is on the costume getting ready to to scare you, and then they go, "Whoa!" Well, that's what they do. It's kind of their job, and there are lots of that scares in the in that movie. Uh, the there when there is a re real big scares with a real killer, uh, sometimes they come up a real a bit a real really effective. Probably the most effective jump scare that I had in, during the movie is the is is a scene in the bathroom, and I and what I really like about that scene is that they, it, it at first they use a jump scare, but then it felt like it's gonna set up for another jump scare, but it doesn't. It it restrict it something happens, but they restrain themselves a jump scare. I I really like them when sometimes they show restraints. On, on anything like that. And technically I think that's all I have to say about Hellfest. It's just a B movie that I... It's decent. I really enjoy it. Uh, I wasn't bored. I, got, I gotta admit. I wasn't bored. I was just... I, I actually... It kept me on, on the edge of, uh, edge of the seat. Wanting to know about the killer. It, it, it's a mystery that... That, that um it never gets resolved for a good reason. It has this climax that is uh, that in my opinion is 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 pretty good. I really like the set designs. Hi. Uh, so I if you don't mind uh, a simple slasher film, I recommend it.
I totally recommend Hellfest. I wouldn't recommend it exactly, you know, uh, as as a rush, but it's a it's a nice movie to put it on your collection of slasher films. Uh, just uh, if if you're into it, uh, check it uh, check it out. Uh, uh, check it out. You're not gonna yeah uh, you're not gonna regret it. And if you do, well I don't know. You go to hell before you die.